All right, what up, y'all? So I'm rebuilding my diesel tractor engine over here, and I have a great tip for you today. Anytime you're rebuilding an engine and you have to put new piston rings on, you need to deburr them, even if you don't gap them. Check it out, guys. All right, guys, so here's the Yanmar tractor engine cylinder sleeve here. So uh, you can see these lines right here. They're vertical lines, and they run all the way down the length of the bore, and... Um, there's a good shot of them right there. They're not significant. You can't feel them, but they can be significant and they can cause you problems. So there's some more of it right there. Um, and then there's more of them here. You can see it. And yeah, they're all the way around this thing. And this thing is toasted in more than one way. But uh, you can see they go all the way down. So I'm going to show you how to avoid this. All right, so everyone knows that you put the ring in here, you know, you put it in the sleeve and then you check the gap with a feeler gauge, see if it's within spec. But if you have to file them, and even if you don't have to file them and adjust this gap to get it within spec, there can be a burr on there. Let me show you what I've done, guys. All right, so here's a new ring, and you can see right here, you can see that it's radius right here. So what you need to do is you need to file that off right there just a little bit to get the burr off. But even when they're brand new, they're really sharp. And just fitting them in and out of the cylinder, you can damage it and put a scratch down it. So you really need to touch these up before you even put them in the engine. That's what I've been doing. Don't take a lot off. Just a tiny little bit. That's not my doing right here. It came from the factory. This bottom edge, don't touch that. You just want it right here where they butt up to each other. And take the smallest amount off with a file or some sandpaper. And that way it does not scratch up your bore. So, you know, you can use like a file, a stone, some sandpaper, whatever you got just to get that radius on there. So what I did is got some sandpaper on my file and just nick them down just a little bit. Now, some of these are Teflon coated, so you can see this black coating on there. You don't want to scratch that up. Just get it right on the edge. I did this on all four of them. They should be good to go. All right, guys, so if you don't do this on your next rebuild, I guarantee you it's going to cause you problems because what's going to happen is you're going to get a deep gouge scratch down here and um, then the ring isn't going to move, you know, on the piston because every time this thing goes off, boom, boom, pow, 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 the rings rotate. They rotate and they move around, and if they can't do that, then it's going to get carboned up and it's gonna just going to not run right. You're going to lose compression because you got a gouge in the thing now. So... Like I said, just testing the rings to see if they fit in here to check the gap, it was scratching it. So that's the tip, guys. Check this every time, you know, to soften the edge on your new rings on any engine you're working on. Not too much, just a tiny little bit, enough to get the job done. All right, so it's very hard to tell on camera, but just go just enough to nick the edge off. It kind of looks like I did too much on some of them, but I didn't. It's just the lighting. I'll check y'all on the next one. Peace.